Hi, this is Manuel, Del Telima 2 Mike Alpha November, and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to walk to the highest point of this forest region here, trying to set up a really small, tiny setup and try to do a QSO with it. I'm going to show you the setup later. Let me tell you something while I'm walking to my destination. Um, it's, it's amazing how fast, once you're out here, you get in this peaceful mind. I was struggling with myself. I really had no motivation to go out and do this, but once you're here, watch it all the screen, the fresh air you're breathing, you suddenly get a lift. It's not only good for your um, body shape, which obviously I could use a little bit more of exercising. It's also important for the mental state. And I'm glad I came here. Okay, guys, I've reached my destination. Uh, this doesn't look too fancy here, but it's the highest point in elevation. It's around about 650 meters above sea level, but as you can see, trees everywhere. Um, if I would fly my drone over there, you could see that there's pretty uh, wide. You, you can you can see pretty uh, wide and far. So I'm going to show you my setup now. So whenever I'm out on foot, I always have this tiny little bag with me. And there's uh, water inside, first aid kit, a little bit of tools, like uh, rain clothes. And just to make you aware of my footprint, I'm going to show you the tiny, tiny setup I'm using today. This is everything I got with me. Everything I've got with me, nothing more than that. It's just on the front pouch of this tiny bag. It's a True SDX. It's a pocket antenna, the reason why I'm here. I want to test that. I got this from our um, friends at hemshop.cz and they make them themselves and this is a monoband antenna for 30 meters and yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to put it up, how to set it up and if it works. Yeah, here you can see that. I have my active speaker with me, something to log. And this is my battery pack, three 18650s. Oh yeah, and probably my paddle should be somewhere here. Let me show you that real quick. This is my tiny, tiny paddle. It's a palm key. Okay, let me figure out how to set this up and I'm going to be, I'm going to be back with uh, the setup. Okay, um, seems to be some kind of off center fat antenna. I'm going to try to make that visible to you, but I don't think it is. It's called stealth antenna, I guess. Maybe you can see it. And I have the end point with me. And just to make you aware of that, it's barely visible because it's just copper enamel wire. And if I didn't know it was there, I couldn't probably detect it. Fascinating. So let's check if we can get a connection here.
that's the CQ loop of the True SDX. Okay, I'm getting no response to my CQs, so I'm going to look for another station. I want to have one QSO before I leave. Not getting out. Obviously, my antenna is really bad. Yeah, he's he cannot copy me. He knows there's something. changed kind of let me see by the way I just realized SWR of 8 it was 9.99 .99 when I was fiddling around with that trimmer here. I could get it down to eight. And yeah, probably not getting much out, but I'm, I mean, I'm doing this now for 20 minutes, uh, se securing into a bad antenna and still the PA fed hasn't blown it. Let me show you. Still working. Now let me show you. That's the SWR and I'm still having I'm still having output power as you can see in the upper left corner. Now let's go back to the CQ loop. Sorry guys, I need to break up here, it starts to rain. I need to get my antenna and walk back to the car which is like a few kilometers away. Unfortunately, no contact, um, but I think I will continue. I will repeat that a little bit more prepared since this antenna has no good SWR. I should have checked that before. And yeah, better luck next time. But I will check uh, reverse beacon network if I could pick, could pick up, could be picked up somewhere. Let's see. So, see you later. Bye bye. I really like the form factor of that. Now, just putting it back in the container it came with. Put it back. Next time I'll be better prepared. That's so typical. I'm on my way back to the car and look what we have here. So back in the workshop and I wanted to give some final thoughts on this uh, 
event. And I mean, life is not not success after success after success. It's the way it is. And so I thought I would share this with you anyway, because that was not a success. And well, maybe we can learn something today together. And just wanted to, to point out that it's uh, not the fault of this antenna that I failed today. It's my fault because I didn't prepare. I didn't check my equipment before I went out. That's something that should always be done if you want to have a contact. Uh, for me, it was more about the walk and this was a reasonable, <laughs> that, that was the reason to go out anyway. So in that sense, it was a success anyway. And next time I will be prepared better. Keep that in mind. So thanks for watching and good luck. See you next time. Bye bye.